Hi guys, today I am back and I am going to be demoing these Dashing Diva Gloss Gel Stickers. I wore these last year when I was out of town over Christmas break because it is a pet peeve of some of my family members when I pick up my nail polish. So I thought, hey, if it's a sticker, it can't chip, so I won't pick at it. And honestly, it worked really well. So I was going to demo and show you how I apply these for getting the best results, give you a few tips and tricks, and also a few caveats. So I thought these ones were really cute for Christmas, and other than that, I am ready to dive into this demo. So about 15 to 20 minutes before I start, I will go on with a nail oil and completely cover my cuticles and the my nail, I guess. And this is just to a help with all of these scraggly little bits and also just make sure that my nail stays nice underneath the sticker. So the scent comes with instructions and frankly they are not hard at all to follow. This isn't really meant to be an instructional video. It's more to show off the product and give a couple tips and help you decide if this is something that would work well for you and if it actually lasts 14 days. So when you open up the product, there are a couple different sheets and sizes. So thankfully the two, the special nails, there's two of each one. And so it's relatively easy to find one per nail um, that fits well. These obviously don't exactly match but um it's still easy to like find one that fits every nail even if your thumbs one has one of these and the other doesn't i don't know about all of you but my thumbs usually are two different sizes in fake nails and stickers like these so they rarely match anyways if there's a special pattern Okay, so the oil has been sitting on for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go wash my hands really thoroughly and I will be right back to start applying the stickers. So you start with wiping down your nails with this little prep pad. This is supposed to help make them stick. I think it gets rid of oils, which, you know, probably means that my oil step was not the most helpful, but I still think it helped my cuticles. And then I, will shape my nails a little bit to be but to be completely honest they get filed down a little bit when you do you fix the edges and so I don't really feel the need to file them down too much I think this can be a really fun way to get ready for an event especially if you don't have time to go to the nail salon before I used to use these kinds of things when I had school dances um, especially homecoming because I wouldn't necessarily have time to go to the salon, but also um, I, if I painted my nails beforehand or a couple days in advance, they would just chip at cheer practice. So this is all the shaping I'll be doing and my cuticles are pretty good right now as far as their placement. So I'm not going to do any trimming today. I'm sure there are people who take much better care of their nails who are looking at my fingers like, oh my god, I can't believe you, but we're just going to keep vibing. So then next I usually start with my um, pinky nails and then I move in. So I'm guessing that this one will probably work well. That one maybe. And then the next one up seems too big so I think we're going to start with this one so in my experience these did last about two weeks but they lasted during a two weeks when I wasn't doing normal chores and exercise. So because I was on a trip, 
I obviously was not in my normal routine and and I wasn't wash hand washing dishes like I do in my normal day-to-day -day life so this made them last a little bit longer than they lasted for my friend when she applied some of these now when she was working out and hand washing all of her dishes she noticed that they started falling off much sooner I think after five or so days so you have to keep that in mind when these things say up to 14 days it depends a lot on your day-to-day -day schedule how frequently you shower how frequently you are washing your hands with hot water how frequently your hands are submerged in anything that could make these peel off. So that's the whole application. Usually I will just press down on the edges. The only other note about these is a shorter nail is probably better with them only because I notice on my longer nails they will start to lift at the corners a little bit faster than my shorter nails. So let's do the other side. So I spend a lot of time making sure that the edges are really firmly planted and I am pressing down and pulling down the nail to make sure that the edge is set. That is along the um, edge of my nail is where I will most frequently notice it starting to come loose. I choose to cut them before filing because I notice that it's a little bit easier and I just, that's the way I prefer to do it. Um, you don't have to, you can just file it, you can pinch it like I did and then file the excess off, but I just feel like I get a better result when I cut off most of the excess and I have less to file away. The one complaint that I can have about stickers like these is that sometimes the edge looks really unfinished because um, of the filing. So I just recommend being really careful and filing at an angle to try and preserve the edge of the sticker as much as possible. There we go. So as you can see, this is looking really cute. So then I think for my ring fingers, I'm going to do one of the sparkly ones. My ring finger is a little bit, le um, has a little bit more curved of an uh, shape. That's the one nice thing about these is one side is more square and one side is a little bit more curved. They're slightly tapered depending on the shape of your nail. So I think this is going to be the right sticker. And I'm just going to follow the same process for all the rest of the nails. So going in at a slight angle, pointing kind of away from the nail, helps me get a clean edge along the edge of the nail, as well as it almost helps seal the edge of the sticker into the edge of my nail.
I would say the key to any sticker like this, not just these ones, is definitely patience. Um, there have been times where I've tried to put on stickers or fake nails when I've been in a rush and they fall off instantly. It is like not even worth putting them on if you're not going to take the time to make sure that each nail is properly adhered to your natural nail and that each edge is not sticking up or looking wonky. I'll even carry the file with me around if I do stuff later that day and I don't do this in the evening like I am now to make sure I can file away any little bits that may pop up. And don't be afraid to file one of your nails maybe a little bit shorter than it needs to be. This one came out not my favorite, but the um, sticker feels really secure on there. So even after I'm done applying them, I will press down on the edges and file any bits that I see poking up for the next day or two. And that also helps them stay on longer when the first day or so when they're at their biggest risk for falling off they are reinforced Obviously, this makes a little bit of a mess, so feel free to lay down a paper towel, but I've never had issues of it sticking to the table, so I'll just wipe it away when I'm done. So that is it. I'm going to clean up and come back to show you the finished nails. So here are the finished nails. I might do a little more filing on this finger, but this is how they turn out. And they look pretty much like this for as long as they stay on. I hold on to the extras so that I can apply them if one does fall off prematurely, but the other ones are still sticking on and I can just do a little patch job. Obviously, this is a sticker. It's not going to look like a professional gel manicure really up close to my hand like this, but I feel like from a distance, my fingers look great and I am not worried about these falling off anytime soon. And then, of course, I used the little pad already, so if I was going to... Of course, I used the little pad already, so if I was going to redo my nails and try to use up the rest of these stickers, which you definitely can do, especially if you don't care too much about the um, sticker lining up perfectly with your cuticle, just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and you will be in business. So I really do think that these can be fun. They're a great stocking stuffer. They're definitely a nice, quick, and much cheaper manicure for any holiday parties or trips that you have planned and most of all they're fun they're easy to take off they don't damage your nails as much as a gel manicure or acrylics and I think they look nice so please let me know what you think of this down below I've been toying with the idea of doing some more nail content or kind of overhead shot videos in 2024 so I'm taking these for a tr I'm taking this for a test drive and most of all I hope you're having an incredible awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks guys.